That's Tuesday. Welcome back to Asia Tech Week here on Daily Planet. Now, when it comes to pop stars, you got to admit there are an awful lot of them that look and sound pretty much all the same. But there's one in Asia who is unlike all the others. That's right. You're about to meet a Japanese sellout sensation. And let's just say that she is totally unreal. This is the queen of pop who merges music and technology. She can sell out concert halls across Asia and bring crowds to their feet. But it's not who, it's what. Hatsune Miku, the singer that never really was. Um, Miku already has a lot of fans all over the world. Anyone can write a Miku song. It's a Hatsune Miku revolution, the digital singer that comes to 3D life on stage. And filmmaker Tara Knight came to Tokyo from California to be a part of it. Unlike going to see Mick Jagger or Lady Gaga or some celebrity that you really love, here you're in a way going to see something that you are part of creating. She's one artist, but she's the image of thousands of artists. Her songwriters? Anyone with a computer. They write her lyrics. Singing songs her admirers write. So those who designed her have seen her grow virtually before their eyes. Like a lot of real pop stars, Hatsune Miku's original image was created. The synthesized singer will be eternally 16 years old, 5 foot 2 and oh, zodiac sign? Virgo. Within that shared space of fans, there's definitely the feel that Miku isn't just some hologram. Tara's film about this humanoid sensation shows the deep connection fans have made for this made-up star. I, I do think that this idea of not are you for or against the technology, but does the technology facilitate meaningful human activities or not, is the question. And that results in a whole new concert. Uh, uh, beautiful and a bit sentimental. And unique experience. It's very amazing for me. People have a sense of um, authorship over the event that they're at. The sound was created by taking voice samples from an actress. All the samples contained one Japanese phonic, but strung together, they created words. And a star. It's so simple to program material for her that people started adding animation, dance, or CGI to a song. And that simplicity made it easy for people all over the world to contribute to her repertoire. And her to ours. Daily Planet in Japan. If you look at Hasne Miku on YouTube, you see like thousands and thousands of videos. You know, it's not just like an official group behind Miku. It's, it really is a lot of people making all this content. She really has an international following and in that you can see comments that people write in Thai and Russian and all of these different languages. So it really has this dimension of um, international, collective, collaborative culture. For fans, though, it's even simpler. Yeah, I, I have a voice very much. They come to see if their own creations make it on stage. 
It's about people working together to construct something. I think that's key. And they stay to share the experience. We're both huge Hatsune Miku fans. Okay, that brings us to the end of a fantastic week here in the Far East.